me and Danny when we were on tour in Dallas there was this guy he was selling crystals and they were to make money crystals and to me this is like the fucking kind of the stuff we're saying like the garbage buying lottery tickets is trash of course like, what a good all, time yes but all like buying poor people things that are to sure. make more money sure <laughs> scraping a bunch of money together to buy Tom Brady's <laughs> last ball yeah. exactly right <laughs> but this girl there's this uh, money manifestation coach that he, people hire to sort out their lives and basically uh, he gives this girl's uh, seven things right so he goes they had a seven day plan and the first one he goes uh, day one pour a glass of wine light a candle and brood over the money that has caused you discomfort so that's the first one day two repeat money manifestations while jumping so by day two <laughs> I want to fucking hit this guy <laughs> so bad I yeah, hate yeah. this kind of shit. <laughs> it's great, right? And you've oh. got so day two, you've got you hired this person. First of all, you're already poor. You hire this guy that's going to make you rich. It's and then, not cheap. And then you're doing jumping yeah. jacks, being like, "I will be rich." You know, I will be making After money. After a glass of wine, and you've had a glass well, glass of wine. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's he wants to attract a woman clientele, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, start drinking so you think this works. <laughs> <laughs> Take your magic wand out and. Uh, <laughs> Also, it said in this thing, they go, he was like a normal uh, finance coach, but then uh, he just switched over to be a spiritual coach and just sort of uses all the same tactics. But that's how he gets the girls to be sort of uh, involved in the thing. And then he goes, so after he does the thing where they have to scream stuff, he goes, told me to move, jump around, talk to myself. He said, happy energy. I'm attracting more money and more uh, uh, wealth into my life. And I'm a worthy of abundance. So that's sort of the... It was, we always sort of talk about this, but it's like that's the most annoying thing to do when you're like working a full time job and your chick's like, you're like, hey, maybe you could get a job. And she goes, I would, but I got the wine poured. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing my jumping jacks. I'm on day three. Four more days. We're going to be yeah, on she easy. Goes, what do you think I'm doing? Right yeah. now? I'm manifesting. I gave here. this guy 20 grand. <laughs> I'm almost there. I do you know anyone that has any of these wacky money making schemes. I guess that doing comedy is wacky money yeah, making. I mean, yeah, I mean, well, the four of us have profited <laughs> from it. You, that is that is like legitimately us with their, your chick being like, yeah, you guys have been with girls for a while, where they're like, you need to get a job. You're like, I just bought four podcast mics. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, babe, I'm a regular at the Village Lantern. <laughs> I just got any studio. day now. Someone's gonna come in there and see me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm get that scum. I'm not barking anymore. <laughs> Looking in the mirror. I'm worthy of fame. Mm. I'm worthy I, of dude, laughs. It's so it's so true. I remember because my my girls my girls from Germany, so she moved here, and I we had to. She was like, "All right, listen, like I'm gonna uproot my life and move here for you. Like, how are you? What are we going to do?" And, and at said, the time, have you heard of a podcast? <laughs> at the time, we had a failed podcast, and I was like. I was, she was like, how much did you make last? Like, we had, she's like, we have to go over financials. She's like, how much did comedy bring you in last year? And it was like... She wanted to go over financials? Yeah, she's like, I'm, she's, she's broad, leaving her job. She's leaving everything. Did you forge them? <laughs> she's like, what did you make last year from $2 comedy? Two million dollars. <laughs> I made mean, 10 bucks from the Grizzly. Two million dollars. <laughs> Well, they passed the bucket around. Uh, <laughs> Dude, can we get a tax Dude, right it, it, on that it, bucket? It was, it was like twelve hundred. Free meals bucks. count if I add them up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I get a, I get a free drink every time I perform. <laughs> that's about pull, seven pull bucks. Pulled pork. That's eight dollars. <laughs> I made mean, seven seventy from the grizzly pear. Yeah, yeah you're, you're literally truffle like putting... fries, truffle fries ain't cheap, babe. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's it was a high bad. class fry. Yeah, it was bad. So then, oh, so then, did you show her the financials? Yeah, and I was just you like, so. what no, did you think? How crazy. I was like, you just have I play to trust his lawyer, me. just walk in with a mustache on. <laughs> That's just Foley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the jig is up. <laughs> I see you've been talking to my rich client. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Moneybags. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. walking in with a mustache. <laughs> oh, shit. So you just man. went to Foley, you just got to trust me? I was like, you just, I don't know how the fuck we're i was like well i'll figure it the fuck out and at that point you know we were so we were so far in or whatever like i'm going this is what i'm there's no turning back now with it like yeah i've burnt the bridges yeah, you, behind you, you me hit your, we've tore we've, you hit we've your blown wagon the bridge to yeah. me or just yeah don't. it's either like and, he's, he's pitching her me real hard yeah oh, he's doing all right <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm like he just got past you know what I mean? <laughs> he's doing more road work you saw him on manifest what <laughs> yeah. the hell what more do you <laughs> want no, no. he just did the jim gaffigan show <laughs> He was hot dog vendor number two. <laughs> oh, fuck. Two years from now, he'll be number one. He'll get me on this show. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> I got All a call back for a commercial, and you get money for that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was that. But you had like it, it's like you said. It is comedians. You have to have that blind faith, yeah. I guess. Well, you for anything, you need a little bit of like, but you, the, delusion, the, delusion. But the delusion gets 
uh, more unrealistic the older you get. That's all it sure. is. Like, uh, you know, obviously some 70-year-old guy being like, this is the year, baby, baby, baby. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're 46. Yeah. I was, I mean, I was, you know, I was 30 when this, we, when we started at RUR, I was 34 staring, a balding 34-year-old staring down the barrel of fucking failure. When, when white, like, straight dudes is oh, the I was like, I'm out. Worst. I'm yeah, out. Yeah, I'm, yeah, out. Yeah. I'm out. I'm done. Yeah. I was like, I'm done. I'm like, I'm not even, the, I was like, I'm not even one of the cool white guys now you know right, what i mean i'm right. like i'm chubby and i'm baldy and like my time to be the cool young white guy like he wasn't getting kim k let's put it that yeah, way no, no. <laughs> so then what happened because it sounds like you sold her the thing and she was like said whatever fuck it she said fuck it she was like fuck she goes, it I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know any of this i yeah. didn't know you had to go in front of the board <laughs> <laughs> yeah well she now is our foreign investor so yeah. i don't even doubled down and we took that, her exactly you even got her what she she goes this Foley getting past thing. I, can I get in on this? <laughs> <laughs> you, you pitched it so hard. She's like, can I get some action on yeah. this? She's like, I'll double. It does do a pretty good Southern accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I remember those, uh, the the email chains that would go around. Send this to 10 people and, and, and your money will come And you would do them? That's the st- yeah. I wouldn't do them. No. He's still doing them. I sold them to 20. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, double my earnings. No, but I remember like relatives <laughs> sending them like, hey, make sure you send this. That's a good trash one. Messages on Facebook. What Was that what it was? Oh, every, everybody oh, mom, everybody's everybody's mom. Have you ever opened your that. spam folder? Oh, it's oh, crazy. Man. It's, it's crazy. wild what's going on in your spam folder. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, so just go check sense. it. I looked at it the other day. <laughs> It's called the, like other messages or something. No, 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 on, no. on Gmail, it's straight up just oh, spam. Oh, yeah, but if you yeah, go yeah. look what's going on in there, phew, yeah, crazy. It's a yeah. whole other economy. It's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so that's day two. Day three, visualize what money can do for you. So I guess you go like probably get a purse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, probably ball in soon. <laughs> yeah, I probably get a car. Day four, look at the money and voice your gratitude. So you have to voice your gratitude for the money you do have. Gratitude's big with these sleaze balls. You gotta feel <laughs> gratitude. Yeah. If you're not grateful, you're not. You gotta open up and be grateful. Get the fuck out of here. It really is. It, gratitude's. It's a all huge intangible bu- shit. Like fucking. You, you, if I'm gonna make money, you give me the money. If you can make money as much, just you give me your money then, and you make more. There was a gratitude's kid. huge with the sleaze oh, ball community. Dude, they're fucking dirt bags. There's a kid I went to high school with that i think works as a sound editor and he had like a you know pretty decent following on instagram and then all of a sudden one day i started getting messages from him like hey send me your cash app i'm gonna send you you know this i, I just made all this money in crypto and blah 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 and then i started looking on his page and it's like you know these ads for like crypto so i'm just assume he got fucking hacked. Hacked. you're you yeah. calling your babe like we're rich <laughs> no i assume he got hacked and then the next day it was him in a video like pushing it Oh, like God. saying like he was a, do- on some new crypto p- Ponzi. Yeah, because okay. that actually happened God, to our friend damn. like a couple weeks. ago. We've been friend, asked to no, but participate our friend, uh, in no, Ponzi. Our friend Amish like a couple weeks ago that happened to his page, and and then but he was hacked. But that's crazy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, I thought this guy was hacked for months, and then dude, he's in a video, and it looks like a terrorist video. Like the resolution <laughs> is so There's bad. someone off camera with a gun. Going, yeah, it's, fucking it's plug a- Coinbase dot com. Yeah, like fuck, I just blocked him out yeah, the door. Fucking great. <laughs> No, they're, they're, that is a big part of it where you have to essentially be grateful for like, you have to look in your wallet and be like, that $10 is, you know, <laughs> you're right though. I'm that grateful is. for this maxed out credit card. <laughs> day, day five, they want you to do a Pinterest board about money. So you have to open up a Pinterest account and kind of put See, mo- it's all Pinterest money. Memes. I don't even know what the fuck Pinterest is. <laughs> it's like a vision board for the internet. Yeah. yeah, it's a vision. But day six is probably my favorite one. So they said day six, go on a treasure Rob a bank. <laughs> no, yeah. it's, it's Apply for a job. <laughs> go back to school. ITT tech computer <laughs> program. Find a handgun with the with the serial <laughs> number filed off. <laughs> Slip and fall. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Buy a neck brace. Make day it look six. real. Now we're gonna day six we tell you a little secret that old people can't fight back. <laughs> yes. I would respect that list more of yeah, like, no dude, shit. this is this Easy is your best crimes. chances to rob a fucking bank. This Go is to your, your best chance for a medicine slip and cabinet. Fall. Yeah. Find the pain pills. <laughs> Go to the local high school. Become a gold digger. Something. Do that. Right. If you were a chick, that would be a way better one. Like, hey, visualize you finding a rich guy. That should sure. just be the whole thing. Yeah, like, here are the type of places rich guys hang out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. If Go I was on a chick, there. I would do all of those things. Yeah. Body. I'd be all I would over never. That. I would. There would be no dignity at all. I would never work. 
No. Yeah, you'd be a prostitute. Hundred <laughs> percent. He acts like he's like coming the most, you know, has the most dignity just as he comes in his pants. I would have no dignity as a woman. As a man, I am full of dignity I'm and glad gratitude. I trade my regal status. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dick Day Six is going on a treasure hunt. He says, "Visualize yourself finding I mean, coins and bills." This is literally what? like hippie Gary V shit right here. It's a hippie Gary V. Because Gary V goes goes to garage sales. This dude goes go just. Grab a metal detector. It's basically saying go to the beach with a metal detector. But not but even with a metal detector. I would respect no, that Gary more. Gary V would be like, go get a metal detector. This guy's being like, just go, just think about where money would be and then just go kind of What a fucking cop. Picture yourself on Like get your, your crystal and it'll point. You are you. right though, because if someone's really poor and you're charging them any amount of money to give them advice that won't work, yeah. it's even the, it yeah. is the ripping off old people kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. You know what the big thing now is magnet fishing. Have you seen that? No, Mag- no well, I have they actually. Go to like a they, bridge. Giant, yeah, giant high power magnets. You throw it in a body of water and just try see to, what you get. What do you? Yeah. What do you get? You, whatever, whatever, Usually, whatever yeah, yeah. sticks to a magnet. They find guns and shit. Guns, would guns be fun, a lot, yeah. which is That'd dangerous. I would not want to find a fucking gun in well, a river. Well, they call also, the, they those call are guns cops. used in crimes. Yeah, oh, they call the cops immediately. So if I'm the fucking Fratelli brothers and I see fucking some dickhead on his YouTube page pulled out the fucking gun, Fratelli brothers. Also, like, yeah, you're right. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold. Gold and silver aren't that magnetic, right? So you're not even getting. You're not going to get like. You're not going to get precious no, metals. No. But it's I, more of like, let's see what. Like, although get a I, I guess with the price of commodities right now, maybe just if you get some fucking steel, that's copper worth or something. Copper, too, or some yeah. shit. That's it. That copper right. wire. That'd be what this guy should be telling her. Where yeah, there's yeah, copper yeah, wire. Yeah, go cut. Co- go get, go to a new construction site. Cut the copper out of the walls. <laughs> get a sawzall, eighty nine ninety nine, and take it right out. I'll respect that. Find a foreman that'll play ball. Yeah, respect the hustle. That's what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a couple guys that were into the coffer and the construction. Oh, buddy, you're say. looking at one. Yeah. <laughs> were you into that? Oh, yeah. Who Not would you steal. sell it to? Oh, you'd go to the scrapyard. Scrap and you, where, how, how would you get it? We would get, uh, we would get like a. We knew a guy. Are you? Are you kids asking a lot of questions. Is he, I know. Is he pausing right <laughs> now? Because he's like, like fucking I'm upset. For a <laughs> snitch, I fucking keep yeah. these details. I don't know what yourself. you're talking about. Next question, Your Honor. Well, no, if you get a job to clean something out. And there's You're, extra copper kicking around. That's no. your copper. I mean, now. yeah, they, they're no. usually not looking for that. We no. were, we were, uh, we were paid to, you know, we were clean up, authorized to go into this building because <laughs> there was a lot of precious metals in there. Yeah. Did we do it in the I middle mean, of the night? Yeah, my, sure. <laughs> but we were authorized to be there. Great. We were authorized. Somebody <laughs> in the organization authorized us. I don't know if the highest. I know guy guys up. that went to jail for. I know a guy from where I grew up. One of multiple that went to jail, but one guy went to jail for stealing copper wire. Got out two months later. Back. In the fucking yeah. bin for really? stealing copper, dude. My, child, couldn't stop. my childhood friend's great great grandfather started a scrap metal business with a horse and a cart and turned it into like a multi hundred million dollar sure. business. Love that. That's the yeah. dream. Yeah. yeah. I don't think my buddy's gonna that get comes that on, going. That comes on day six. Yeah, I that's think. day seven. <laughs> the horse and the no, cart. Yeah. yeah, that's day seven. That's find <laughs> find someone who can sell you a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no. Day seven uh, is take your magic beans. Donkey. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Day seven is rack, uh, uh, rest, relaxation, and comfort. Wow. So they have, yeah, you gotta take, gotta take the edge off. <laughs> yeah, after a treasure hunt, you gotta oh, relax the, a little bit. Get a little famished. You're the boyfriend. Works seven days a week. You come home on day seven. She's just fucking feed up, drinking white wine. You gotta, Babe, you haven't done anything. I hunted <laughs> treasure for us. <laughs> I did find a Pokemon. I found a ball of tinfoil. <laughs> oh, it's fucking insane. And then you have to put the winds on. So she said she put on that. She found a cheap camera, and then she, she bought. A camera so that cost yeah, she money. couldn't even afford uh, how cheap it was but it <laughs> was could, a deal she couldn't afford not to get it it was such a good deal and then she said yeah she she uh, uh got it basically she posted the things that she got a good deal on like food she got a good uh good so that's the money taxes. is just getting a good deal on something <laughs> that's the payoff <laughs> you Jesus. you get no actual cash <laughs> no no no, no. The, 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 well, i mean yeah. i knew it wasn't oh, this coming. Is, she's being grateful yeah, yeah, the, but, like you look at the coming. bank account at the end of this week and you have less money than you started with yeah. but you have this camera that oh, you don't shit. Need. <laughs> and the camera's not it's not like hey this camera I can start a business taking photos to generate money it's just I have a camera yeah I would let her do that and then when it didn't work out that camera was being used for one thing it's called OnlyFans <laughs> <laughs> get those cheesy feet up I in got the air. bad news to you Foley <laughs> yeah. she bought one of those like bullshit old timey useless not even digital camera <laughs> she yeah. goes you go plug that thing in she goes it doesn't plug I can't in. even stream with this you fucking dumb bro what's yeah. the deal and when you find out how much it costs to develop that shit that yeah. film you're like what the fuck are you thinking and the guy has to play ball where she goes oh I've been doing the gratefulness gratitations and then I because of uh, all of this stuff I'm in to get this deal on a camera and he spent $200 on it and the guy has to be like yeah this is good 
this is good stuff, all good stuff. <laughs> if you want to buy more stuff at deals, and you have to pretend that uh, her buying a camera was a good use of finances. <clears throat> Jesus. <clears throat> uh, that's good stuff. Fucking, that's scumbag shit. Yeah. <laughs> Real scumbag shit. That guy should be beaten in town square. Yeah, that's a dirtbag move. Fellas, thank you for watching that exclusive Boys Cast clip and supporting the channel. If you want to support the podcast, we have a new episode every week at patreon.com slash the boys cast. Only five bones, and there's a tons of episodes up there right now. So support the cast, support the boys. Link right there. Peace.